Hey, uh, it's been a while, uh, and uh, I made some new collections. Uh, these ones are my uh, some of my Bark River uh, knives collection. Uh, this is not all of them. I actually have some that's being rehandled. Uh, I started uh, collecting the the Bravo collection. This one is the the top one will be the Bark River Bravo. The next one's gonna be uh, the Bark River Gunny with some uh, patina on it. I've been using this thing a lot. Uh, right there you can see the size difference. And uh, this one would be the the Bark River uh, Bark River Bravo 2. I mean Bravo uh, Bravo Necker. I did a little bit of uh, sandblasting on it uh, right on the top so it has like a like a kind of Hammond Hammond look on uh, on the blade uh, this one is a uh, CPM 3V uh, the same thing as the uh, the first uh, the first Brabble Necker and the newest uh, the newest one on Bark Rivers collection as far as Bravo this is the the pocket Bravo this one is a 154 cm steel it's nice and thick, nice and sharp. As you can see right there, uh, you could barely see it, but that's the. It says the first uh, production run. And uh, this is just a glimpse on uh, on some of the knives, uh, Park River knives that I got. I have some more fixed blade knives, uh, some hunting knives, also some tactical knives. I safe to say that the Bravo, uh, the Bravo one is a. I could categorize that as a tactical knife also. And uh, as far as everyday carry, I've been carrying the, I've been carrying the Bravo, uh, the Bravo, uh, Bravo Necker one in CPM 3V uh, a lot. Uh, this this thing's been used a lot. This one's the newest one. Like I said, it just came in yesterday. Uh, these are all uh, full. Uh, these are all convex grind really really sharp razor sharp especially this one right here the gunny the gun the gunny so far is my uh, favorite hunting knife it's really good on uh, taking out some back strap and uh, uh, I don't know if you guys have uh, seen a uh, vir uh, virtual voice uh, video uh, he makes a lot of uh, knife videos usually it's uh, most of them are like, are like Bravo uh, Bravo uh, Bark River uh, knives uh, collection he has a pretty large uh, collection of knives this is just a size comparison uh, as far as uh, as far as the knife. Uh, they they made uh, they made a Bravo 2 also, which is a little bit uh, longer than this, and uh, they have some new ones coming out, which is the Bravo 1.5 and the Bravo 2.5. So as far as size uh, size difference, there you go. You can see uh, my hands; they're medium size medium size hands, so grips pretty well, really good. Have some fire steel striker right here. That's not a thumb. Uh, that's not a thumb. Uh, thumb rest or thumb notch. That's uh, that's actually a fire steel. Uh, fire steel uh, striker right there. Same thing as the as the gunny. By the way, the gunny and the and the and the bravo one. They're both uh, A2 uh, tool steel, which is a really good, uh, really good uh, steel. I think it's a lot better than uh, than D2. As far as top uh, topness, it really easy to uh, sharpen, especially uh, especially with the convex edge. Uh, I'll sh I'll show you my uh, sharpening uh, system uh, later on. So yeah, really good. It's just a leather strap, you know. You don't uh, you don't really need uh, any sharpening stone on these knives, not unless you want to regrind the blade, you know, make it uh, make it something else. But uh, convex edges, they're really good uh, edges. It lasts pretty long. Especially on this one, I use this thing a lot. Okay, uh, that's it for now. And uh, let me know uh, what you guys are interested in. Uh, I could uh, make a review on this knife. These are all being used, so except for this one, this one's been uh, I've been carrying it for uh, for uh, two days now. And so far, you know, I like it. But as far as uh, carrying, I like uh, I like this too a lot. The Bravo uh, Bravo uh, Bravo one. The, I mean the Bravo Necker one and two. Alright, that should be it for now. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.